Hey guys, what's going on? It's me Nidex here, back with another tutorial. Now it's been a few months. This was when I posted the first tutorial, how to make 3D volume animation cinematics. Uh, most of you liked the tutorial, I think. I got pretty nice feedback. And then the video I said, then in the next days or weeks, I post the lighting tutorial and then the environment tutorial. At the time of review of you, I'm just pretty lazy, busy, so yeah, I didn't do anything. But now I finally, finally decided that I really need to make an next part. So, so I sent Twitter. And yeah, most people told me that they want another tutorial. And I'm also pretty happy because they like on this here or on many discords. Oops. Okay. If people have questions, I often see that people recommend watching my tutorial. That's really nice. Yeah, you can keep doing that. Makes me happy if I see some messages like this on Shuizuka Code or on Twitter. So yeah, basically, um, I posted a piece of small preview on my alt account yesterday. And it was this clip here, I can just play it back. Oh yes, I didn't do effects on the last clips or since yet. And this here. And no sound effects of course, but yes, and the cinematic here. I got some pretty nice feedback. And people asked me how I did the lighting, so I thought why don't I just show them um, to you exactly this thing. It's a nice one because it can give you a lot of examples. Um, first of all, for the colors, you always need to think about what kind of colors you want to use. You want to use like some colorful, saturated ones. Contours is often nice. So we can go on the wave video. You can first of all you can do monochromatic like I did in this here. This works. So there are basically two ways. Either you do monochromatic, or like one color, one key color, like your orange, pretty warm, or you do two of complementary or that match. I made a video for Wave a few weeks ago with this vision, I think. Maybe we can look at that as well. It's, it's there are also some nice scenes in it, I think. Hi. I really like this in here, uh, Vision Mate, for example. Um, because you just want to have light, but it doesn't need to be like super special light if you have like already have lights on your skin and stuff so what he did he basically used the sunlight and what you always want to have you always have some environmental light the sunlight and then it's just using the emissions of the skin and this already looks really nice because you can see in the back that the environment by itself the hdi is pretty dark so there's like a huge contrast between the foreground and the background that's what you always want to have and also uh, i also made Many of you saw that. I also made this, and this is again monochromatic. We have like again a huge contrast between background and foreground because in this time we have the background is pretty bright and the foreground is dark. So that's also pretty nice. I don't know if I did any other sense in this. Yeah, this one here was super basic. I made that in 10 minutes. But again, we have like some small rim lights. We always want to have rim lights to uh, differ from the background. Yeah, one more example we can obviously look at is again is this one entered hiding exit just the same. So yes. Again we have like green and yellowish because they match. It's often seen in movies. Um I I really inspired by I was really inspired by the Joker color palette. So that's what I use as a base. Yeah, it's just fucking amazing if you ask me. And I will definitely work with that again. Um, so for this video here, I just use what I do really often. Use some bluish and some orangish because they are complementary. And bluish is cold and orange is warm, so we have another type of contrast. So let's just hop the blender and have it open. What you want to do first is just go on a frame where you can see basically everything. So for me it's this frame here because we have the weapon, we have the skin and we also have the source of light, the window over there. Um, what I do for my workflow is I press, I set this to solid view, then I press shift and click in the corner. Then I set this here to render view and drag it to my second monitor. Obviously, you can't do that because not everyone can do that. So, yeah, but it, you can also split the screen. But my second screen is pretty small, and the other one is not 16 by 9, so we need to use a small screen for this video. But I'm just gonna try to make it the default workflow. Or now with just one screen, I hope this works. I never did it like that. So, for the engine, 
we can use EV, we can use cycles. If we use EV, you want to have, I mean, the occlusion enabled, blue enabled, screen source reflection, make the threshold threshold a bit higher. Maybe give us some color, some slight bluish or some slight orangish, whatever you want. And yes, you can also crank intensity a bit up, I think. And you want to use screen source reflections just to get some reflections on the weapon here. Um, if you do cycles, you want to use GPU or compute supported. Then go to preferences. If you have a 30 graphics card or a 2080, for example, you want to use this. Uh, you want to use your graphics card here and you want to set this to optics because that shit is so fast. Okay, yes. Uh, for this, I'm just going to use uh, EBB as cycles for the beginning, but you can use whatever you want, of course. Just, just a bit more accurate. So, yes, this is just a viewport, already looks pretty nice. The profile is also pretty important, even though it's not dark lighting directly. Just always place an empty. Oh shit, I hate working on a small screen. Empty somewhere. Yes, and then I focus the camera on the empty so I can also animate that. It's pretty nice. Yes, so we could now also drag it over here. And the top would be in focus. Oh, didn't drag it. Like over here. Oops, yeah, never mind. Yes, some type of this, but yeah, it's not that important for now. What you want to start off is like you saw on the screen I showed from the wave video. We want to have like a sunlight. The easy thing to do that is just by pressing Shift A, light, sun, just making it like that. So yeah, now we also get some pretty nice um, shadows on the wall. I actually don't have that in the real one, but who cares? I'm just gonna make a bit of surreal lighting for this because I want to have the sunlight on the one side, but I also want to use this light here. But if you have the sunlight from two directions, that wouldn't make sense. And I'm just gonna show it off to you what you could also do instead of doing the sunlight from that direction to get these nice shadows. You are gonna kind of bright up this window because it's visible, so you could add a plane. Scale it up, go a bit up, like that. See, yes, the placement seems pretty right. And then we can add a shader, set it to an emission. Because an emission makes it glowing, set this to orange. Like that. Now that already looks pretty cool. But there's definitely some stuff missing. First of all, we need to have like some light that goes directly into the skin. Because it's a cinematic, we can easily place lights wherever in our room where we want, even though if there isn't a light source, just if the um, one who sees it gets an idea from where the light is coming, it's fine. So we can just place a light over here to act like it's coming from there. Um, where do we place it? We say, place it like there, point it towards our skin. Yes, so it's some spotlight, so basically we need to make sure our main subject is inside of this type of cone, I think. I don't know what's it called. Yeah, so we can now crank this up. Let's see, it doesn't make that big of a difference. Always some trial and error if you have only one screen. I usually would just drag it around and see how it looks. But yeah, this time I gotta just try it out. So yeah, now we get some small rim light over there. Okay, yeah, that's already pretty cool. Uh, what am I giving? gonna do for this? Cody Blue. Now we need to think about where we want this room light to come from. We could say it's this light, or it's the sunlight. I think I'm gonna go with a bright blue actually. Because I'm not gonna do the orange uh, by hand and the orange is gonna be on top. So for the orange, we always need a rim light. Rim lights are the key. Trust me, if you don't have a rim light, your scene looks ass. So what we're gonna do is Create a rim light, RX90, RZ90, so yeah, 
You can just sort of defend if you want as well. So for the rim light, what we want to do, and this is pretty important, is we want to create an area light, and then we want to like do the exact opposite angle of the camera, like that. It's pretty nice. And if you do it uh, like thinner, you get like sharp rim lights, which is also pretty cool. So now we can place it like there. This one it definitely needs to be pretty warm. So it like sells it. Yeah, I think that looks really nice. It's really hard to get rim lights on like the head because it's a round subject, but you can also just press multiple area lights until it works. So yeah. So what's missing now is you can see there's some blue light over here, but it isn't really isn't really that visible on the other objects, so I manually do that most of the time. So what we can do is first of all a uh, point light. This one shouldn't be that big though, so we just give it a blue. Now we do let it crank this down. This already gets sells it way more. It looks way nicer in comparison to no light. Oh see. And this one light is uh, it's pretty cool. I think 1.5 should be enough. Oops. That's cool. And the next thing we can do is now duplicate this and set it to an area light. And the point of the area light is to emit the hand because kind of I kind of when I have like some blue some blue reflecting on the hand to sell the weapon and the blue. Do it a bit more to that direction, maybe, maybe to like six. That's too bright. A small addition because I just realized I forgot a really important part. So yes, this I see now. But of course we can add an environmental light. So to do that we go to like just to we don't want to have like gray over here. We want to have like some reflection at least. So what we can do. We go to this world, the color, click environmental texture, press open, then go to wherever we saved an HDI texture, something like that. Um, oh, I'm stupid. Lightning stuff, HDIs, and then you can just use a pretty neutral light. I always want to use neutral lights. We oh, yeah, add that. Bam, that looks really nice. We want to have like more focus on our lighting. We can set this to like that five. And yes, no, and the scene is really selling. <laughs> I was just uh, I finished the other. I was thinking, oh, what did I forget? And yes, I forgot to add an environment. So this is this is how we wanna end up. What we wanna end up with? Thank you guys so much for watching. As I already said, comment down whatever you wanna see next. I will do it. Hopefully, it won't take months this time to finish the next tutorial. <laughs>